Hello everyone. I hope and pray that you're doing well. Well, here we are in Holy Week. Um, we'll have to wait a few more days until the more noteworthy days like Maundy Thursday and Good Friday and Holy Saturday. Uh, but I appreciate Scott Jose points out something from Mark's Gospel. He, he talks about how Tuesday of Holy Week was just jam-packed with action. And, and in the middle of all the action of, of Tuesday of Holy Week, um, a widow quietly puts two copper coins uh, into the temple coffers. And if you read in Mark 12, verse 41, it tells us that, that others were throwing into the um, temple coffers far more, but the widow gives what added up to be like a fraction of a penny. But Jesus singles her out. Uh, since she had given all that she had to live on, her offering was actually more valuable than those who gave um, just a fraction of their own larger wealth. And so usually we read the story and, and we see it as a kind of uh, inspirational tale uh, meant to encourage us to, to go and do likewise. But what if that's not really what the story means? We read, they gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, she put everything in everything, all that she had to live on. The thing is, we don't actually know how Jesus said that line from Mark 12. Some commentators suggest that, that Jesus was just choked up with uh, a combination of sorrow and, and righteous anger. And rather than, than holding this dear widow up as a role model, Jesus was angry that she had been made to feel like she had to give all that she had to live on. And so instead of ministering to her, the temple was milking her dry. They gave out of all their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. And when Jesus sees this dear soul giving up the only shot she had that week at buying bread, he doesn't see just some shining example of sacrificial giving, but an example of what happens when those charged to take care of God's people become so self-absorbed with their own perfect piety that they have very little time to reach out with God's love to the needy and the marginalized. And really, if you think about it, it's an old story. And it's a story that we may be guilty of even today. Do we still pay attention more to those who can do something for us than those for whom we could do something? Uh, do we still sidle up with the wealthy and, and to those who have influence and to those who, who we, we want to take a selfie with and then post it and tell our friends, look who I was with. Meanwhile, those who have so little in the first place, they're the ones that get ignored. But we know it shouldn't be this way. We know that God created a cosmos of outrageous generosity, right? Ever since the, the good beginning that God created, human sin has, has skewed all sorts of levels of fairness. And, and, and maybe that's why on that Tuesday of Holy Week, when Jesus saw this woman uh, who couldn't afford to, to give her life away, but who was forced to give it away anyway, it kind of just steeled Jesus and his own holy resolve to do something about this problem. And indeed, of course, we know that before the week was over, Jesus would give his all. He would give everything that counted as his life in order that, at long last, um, he could turn this cosmos from the darkness of injustice and, and uh, inequity back into the light of creation, uh, flourishing and delight for, for everyone and everything. Tuesday of Holy Week, I know it doesn't quite have Good Friday's drama, 
But through this lone widow, Tuesday contains a whole lot of Good Friday. The Good Friday purpose um, that is why Jesus went to the cross. The peace of Christ be with you all.